I am going to talk about the topic damage reduction in composite lamina using ultrasonic guided wave where damping is considered in the model. So for that, when we talk about introduction, uh, the first thing comes to our mind is ultrasonic guided wave. Ultrasonic guided waves are used uh, for any type of SHM means um, st structural health monitoring of structures. So it is a type of NDT, non-destructive testing. So there are two types of wave, bulk wave and guided wave. Bulk wave is not is our uh, concern, so I will directly go uh, for guided waves. So when we talk about isotropic plate, there are two types of wave. One is lamp wave and SH wave, shear horizontal wave. In, in lamp wave, in the direction of propagation, the waves will travel. In SH wave, uh, transverse to the direction, they will travel transverse to the direction of fiber or uh, transverse to the direction of uh, wave propagation. When we talk about composite plate, the properties may be orthotropic or anisotropic. In those cases, there are three types of wave. One is relay wave, another is lamp wave, another is stonely wave. In all the cases, there are some differences. If I consider this is a plate of three layers, one, two, three, then relay wave will travel at the surface of the plate. Means it will travel somewhere at the surface. When we talk about lamp wave, it will travel in between any two boundaries because the energy will be concentrated at the boundaries. When we talk about stonely waves, they will travel at the interface of two layers. This is one fiber, this is second fiber, this is third fiber and these are called interface. The stonely wave will travel at the interfaces. Attenuation. Attenuation is nothing but the magnet, uh, decrease in magnitude of the force or the decrease in the magnitude of the wave amplitude. So now for the attenuation uh, may be present due to damping in structure or viscoelastic nature of matrix or uh, due to the cracks in matrix or fiber. A literature review. From many literature review we can conclude that presence of structural damping can be helpful uh, to detect the damage in any structure and it also helps to increase the wave mechanism in any type of structure or composite plate. My objective is to prepare models undamaged and damaged case and uh, by comparing their result we are going to uh, detect the damage, damage in the damaged plate. Now this is my work done. What I have done, I have used the software Abacus uh, Fine Element Method Analysis software where I have considered a model whose size is 1 meter by 1 meter and for excitation the loading is applied at the midpoint. M and I have considered two damage location. One is D1 just near to the midpoint and another is D2 just near to the boundary. After analysis we found out uh, before that at the midpoint the load applies, applied is called hanging pulse. You can see in the screen the wave that is called hanging pulse which is applied at the midpoint for excitation purpose. Now resultant discussion we find displacement versus time plot for all the cases that is undamaged and damaged case. I have tabulated the result. We found that at D1 and D2 for one case, if I consider only undamaged case, at D1 the displacement is different than the same in the uh, damaged plates. That's why we can say there is as there is difference in the displacement, that's why we can say as, um, there was some detect, that's why there was difference in the displacement. Uh, the conclusion the same because of presence of uh, some damage there was displacement in the uh, uh, wave. My future scope is now in this study we found out the damage where location was known to us. My future study will be to find out the damage location and the magnitude of the damage. So these are the references I went through to study this topic.